In this section, we'll continue with our redundancy protocols configurations. But in this video, we are going to see how to configure VRRP protocol. Let's say in my company, I want to use VRRP. And what are the configurations we need to use if I decided to go with the same similar kind of configurations we did in HSRP. Now, the first thing, if you see, uh, we need to get into the interface, which is connecting to the LAN, same like HSRP. And then we need to configure, and all the command starts with VRRP. So this is one of the major difference. So in the HSRP, we start with standby and the group number. Here, we all the command starts with VRRP and the IP address command is same. And this command is not mandatory because in VRRP, by default, preemption is enabled. So which means by default, preemption is enabled unlike, ESG, unlike the HSRP protocol. So you don't need to specify this command. Even if you don't specify, it is by default enabled. So there's one more difference. Priority values remains the same, 100. But if you want to make any specific router as a primary, we can define the priority value of this as 120, something higher than the default. And then if you want to implement authentication, we can do the authentication. But if you see, there is one slight change in the command here, tracking the interface. Like in our HSRP, we have a command something like this. We went to interface, interface F1 by zero. interface f0 by 0 and then we have set standby group number standby group number and then we have to set track and we have to define the interface which you want to track let's say if this interface goes down uh, then we are going to track that interface and then we are going to de define the decrement value as 30 but in case of uh, VRRP we don't have this configuration so let me show you that configuration directly on the command line and I'll come to this command when I get into the command line. So I'm going to skip this one as of now. And this configuration is almost similar to what we have. And the preemption is by default enabled. And one more thing, the virtual IP, whatever you are using, it can be the same existing physical IP you can use as a virtual IP. That is one more uh, advantage or one more difference we can compare with HSRP. You don't need to have a separate IP. You can still use the existing physical interface IP as a virtual IP also. And then, on the secondary, we just need to configure the IP address and then authentication if you configure. If you don't configure, then it's okay. So I'm on the command line of the routers here. And if I try to verify the existing configurations on my interface, already everything is configured, but I'm going to continue with my uh, previous lab where we have HSRP configured. So I'm going to remove it. And I want to implement the similar type of uh, requirement by using uh, by using the VRRP protocol. So when I do this, if I verify no standby one, and you can see everything is removed. The same thing I'm going to do on the other gateway, which is my router three. And then I'll say no standby one, that's it. So now I want to ensure that R1 should be my primary gateway. And I'm going to start with, uh, all the command starts with VRRP. So I'll say VRRP, just use question mark, group number, any number it can be. And then the first command we use is IP, same like we did in HSRP and the virtual IP, whatever we decided. So I'm going to still go use the same IP because already my end host here is configured with the default gateway of 192.168.1.50. So, but you can also use the same existing interface IP as a default virtual IP also. The next thing, what else? Uh, I'm not going to give this command in a preempt, just I want to ensure that, okay, so if uh, preempt is not enabled, so I'm not going to give this command. So just to ensure that, just to check whether the preempt is enabled or not. So I'm skipping that command. And then a priority command I'm going to give. In my priority, I'm going to give it as 120 as my priority on the router one. And what else, timers I'm not going to change. And any other commands. If you want to use authentication, you can use authentication. So I'm not going to use any authentication here. That's it. So if you just do show history, I used these two commands. This is one command and just two commands. Okay. Let me quickly configure on the router uh, three as well. Interface F0 by zero, VRRP one and the IP address. It has to be the same IP on both the sides. That's it. So preempt command I'm not giving and I'm, I'm not using it, any authentication here. So you can see it changes to backup. Now verification wise, we'll verify now. So verification is show VRRP. When you show VRRP, you'll see the similar kind of 
output what we'll see in HSRP like F0 by 0 the group is 1 the state is master terminology in the VRRP will be master and backup instead of active and standby and the virtual IP and the virtual Mac the virtual Mac format will be this one in VRRP and then you can see preemption is by default enabled I did not give that command in, HL, in VRRP preemption is by default enabled but if you if, if, it, if you give that command anyway it's going to enable anyway so the priority value is 120 and the master is 1.100 that is a local router and the priority value is this and by default it's going to send the hello messages for every one second and if you want to verify there is a simple command show VRRP brief so I'll try show VRRP one more time now if I go to check on the router 3 I'm going to say show VRRP now here you can see the state is backup and everything remains the same all the things and the preemption is enabled and priority value is default 100 and who is a master master is 1.100 and the priority value of the master is 120 in my case router 1 is master router 3 is my uh, backup so if I shut down my let's try to verify from the client side I'll try to verify the interface routes I'll say repeat you can see communication is going on so if I try to shut down my primary interface let's say F0 by 0 interface is shut down it's going down it's not going to affect you can see just one packet drops and again it's it start communicating via the alternate gateway but what happens let me make the interface back to up uh, when I change back to up again it will come back to master state you can see here it comes back to master but what happens if my interface S1 by 0 goes down like my S1 by 0 goes down again you will come across the similar kind of scenario where if this interface fails here this one fails in that case it will still assume that R1 is a master and start sending the traffic from R1 but R1 WAN interface is down so for that we can configure something called a track interface so the only difference is the track command is little bit different in case of VRRP when we compare with HSRP now in case of HSRP we have used the command you remember so I'll directly get into the command line VRRP1 and I'm going to say track and here there is no interface name here so we are going to track the object so which means we need to create an object which is going to track that interface so before I use this I need to create an object with a track object number can be any number so I'm just giving a track I'm going to say track uh, question mark any number any object number you have to use any number in between 1 to 500 so I'm going to use 1 it can be any number and I'm going to say track the interface so either I can track any specific interface or even sometimes you may want to track the default route so let's say I can even say IP route 0000, 0, 0, 0 slash 0 and then I can say reachability which means if that default route goes down in my routing table so I'm going to create an object which is going to track the default route so it's something more common uh, we can use that anyway in my case I'm going to track my interface which is my S1 by 0 interface and then I'm going to say line protocol so the line protocol indicates that the line protocol status so you have to create an object and once we create an object now we need to map that object with the object name is 1 now I need to say VRRP 1 track the object 1 whatever the number you have used here and then decrement I'm going to say decrement 30 so which means based on the interface status whatever we had defined here which is this one by 0 it's going to decrement the value of 30 which means 120 minus 30 becomes 90 so now if I verify the status here you can see this router has become a backup and the reason is if I give show standby sorry show VRRP we are we are using VRRP so now you can see track object state is down because it is decrementing the value of 30 because S1 by 0 is down and you can see you can see the communication is happening automatically now if that interface comes up if I make that interface back to up by using no shutdown command now I can see interface change state to up and the line protocol is up 
and then now it has become from backup to master and then if I say show VR RP uh, you can see state is up tracking the object one and now if you want to see object one show track you can see the track object I'm going to track one object which is S1 by 0 line protocol status and right now it is up so if I quickly summarize the configurations in VRRP everything remains the same except this tracking the object commands is slightly different where we need to track a specific a specific object and this is something what you can also do in the case of HSRP also it's not mandatory that you have to use with VRRP but VRRP provides an option of tracking the interface in an easy method rather than making it a little bit complicated like this so you can not only track the inter object uh, which defines the interface but also you can track a default routes or you can track a specific route let's say if the reachability to this route is going down in that case we can make the interface down or we can we can make the track object down so that it can make some changes 